This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Mary Pat Shaw with me from the Perth area. Mm -hmm. Thank yep. you for joining us today. You are a member of the Ontario Board of Directors for the Kidney Foundation. That's right, yeah. How did you get involved with this? I, um, my mom has kidney disease and I was uh, looking to do some volunteer work and I thought I would check out the Kidney Foundation and I've been involved for about seven years. All right. Now, yeah. if we can talk about your mom for a little bit, too, yeah. because we've been talking, you're, you're talking about kidney disease. Right. Most often, people go directly, are they on dialysis? Has she had a transplant? She's had this for a couple of decades. Right. Three, about been, 30 years. Yeah. About 30 years, yeah. and you've been able to maintain her not going on dialysis. Right. Yeah. So yeah. can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So she was diagnosed in her 60s, totally big surprise. No one knew she had, was even at risk. And um, so she lived with it for a good 20 years. And then uh, through management, management and diet and that kind of thing. And then it became difficult for her because um, her kidney function started to decline quite a bit. She was offered dialysis and she decided that wasn't something she was interested in doing at that phase of her life. Um, so she has been managing her kidney disease through help from her renal clinic in Thunder Bay and also diet and uh, lifestyle. All right. And what, what type of, uh, when we talk diet and lifestyle, what type of things is, I mean, it's good for all of us to know. Right. So she has to have her, her kidney function tested on a regular basis. The blood test measures how well her kidneys are functioning. She's on some medication. Um, there's a renal diet that um, is available to people with kidney disease that restrict things like salt. Mm -hmm. um, there's various things that you can do um, to manage your disease. Yeah. And I mean, so much of it is prevention as well, too. Mm -hmm. Like, she got diagnosed. Did she was she not feeling well, or was it just a no. surprise? Did no, she... I think um, it, we believe it was related to undetected high blood pressure. Okay. And um, it before she was able, you know, before they were able to intervene, the kidney damage had the kidney disease had already started. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's it once it's there's no cure. You either get a transplant or you have dialysis. Right. Yeah. And she's 98 years old. She's 98. And yeah. she's doing well? She's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Wow. She's amazing. Yeah. Wow. wow. You know, in, in terms of prevention and, you know, and we can do it with uh, lifestyle and with diet, there's so many diseases out there that we could do that with. You know, we talk mm -hmm. heart and lungs, we hit mm -hmm. kidneys, liver. A lot of it is just taking care of ourselves. Yeah. And t in monitoring. So yes. there's um, the Kidney Foundation has a risk assessment tool that individuals can use. It's on the, on the kidney.ca site. Um, so you just fill in the blanks, very simple, but it assesses your individual risk and you can then follow that up with your family doctor to see if he thinks or she thinks you're at risk for, you know, kidney failure or kidney disease at any point. Yeah. All right. So March is kidney health month. Yeah. So we're, out, you're here, you're, yeah. you're out there uh, making awareness. Yeah. Yeah. And this is part of, uh, of what you do as a board of director? Right. So we're uh, highlighting the importance of, um, your kidneys in, in, in your life. You were also raising awareness of um, kidney disease and the impact it has on people. And we're trying to get people who've been connected to kidney disease somehow, if they've had a friend or a family member or whatever get kidney disease, we're trying to connect people to talk more about it because it's a silent disease and, and it's not, it's known but it's not obvious to people. So we're trying to get people to share their connections and um, there's a lot of social media going on. Uh, we're also trying to raise funds to help with kidney research and also our kidney program. So some of the things the Kidney Foundation does to help people with kidney disease um, include short-term financial assistance. For some people, getting to dialysis um, three or four times a week is very expensive because they may not live very close. Um, they may not be able to hold a full-time job if they're in, hooked up to a machine, right. you know, that long. So a short-term financial assistance, support through peer, peer support programs, you know, education. Um, and we fund a lot of research into kidney disease. And we ha we're so fortunate here in Smith Falls, we have a dialysis yes. unit in our, our uh, hospital. Yeah. And uh, I mean, when it was opened, it just, it, 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 it freed people up from the traveling time. Right because people had to go to Kingston, people had to go to Ottawa yeah. to, to have it done. So we were so fortunate to have that here in Smith Falls. Yes, for sure. And um, for some parts of Ontario, the more remote regions, especially the north, it's it's very difficult. You think midwinter, you know, north of Lake Superior, and you've got to drive three hours to get to dialysis. It's 
it's very hard. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And any, anybody that's on dialysis in terms of even wanting to travel, yeah. that's part of their arrangements is to make sure there's a dialysis set up exactly. for them at the other end. It's definitely a burden that people live with for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. um, there is There are kidney transplants. Um, mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot of people waiting. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I saw something recently that told me that 76% of Canadians who are waiting for an organ, 76% of them are waiting for a kidney. So that's a very high percentage of <laughs> organ donations. And, right? and, and kidneys can be a living donor as well, too. It you can, can be. function with just one kidney. So yeah. you, you hear a lot about a family member or a friend right. stepping up. Yeah, it's a living donation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's uh, a big process to go through, but it has been quite successful. That's right, that's yeah. right. Both uh, the kidney and the liver can be living donors. Yeah. So yeah. yes, yes, for sure, for sure. So we encourage people to sign their donor card and yes, uh, yeah, for sure. become a donor too yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so you have been with the, uh, the Ontario Board of Directors for seven years now? Yeah. Okay, and what does that entail in terms of your time? What do you have to do? Uh, well, I mean, there's um, meetings several times mm -hmm. a year. They haven't been face-to-face -face lately no. uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and there's committee work and there's just you know, rolling up your sleeves and getting involved in the kidney walk and the kidney fundraising events. Um, in Perth, uh, we have a walk and Smith Falls has a walk every fall. Uh, governance, you know, fundraising, yes. that kind of stuff, that's the area that I'm most interested in. And um, yeah, it's a very well-run organization and uh, very motivated. All the people that I know on the board, I'm probably the exception, either has kidney disease has had a transplant or has donated a kidney. So it's they're very invested in, in the work right. that well, we do. Well, it's very close to home for you. It is. Yes, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I mean, events like this too, you know, they get bigger and stronger every year with, mm -hmm. uh, with people coming out and, and sharing their story. So exactly. we appreciate yeah. you sharing your story with well, us. you're so welcome. March is a Kidney Health Month. I thank you very much for coming here from Perth today. Thanks for having Congratulations me. Congratulations to your mother, 98 years <laughs> yeah. old, and uh, yeah. is maintaining with a good yeah. lifestyle. She's and, amazing. Uh, and uh, Yes, she yeah. is. What's her name? Edna Ramsey. Andy Ra Edna Ramsey. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining okay. us, and uh, congratulations, Edna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.